There were three of us. All we had was each other and cricket. Every recess was cricket. Every lunchtime was cricket. Every after school was, <laughs> well, you know, it really brings me back, you know, to when, uh, when, when Jack was alive. Yeah, I, I mean, the surface was great. The photos and all. Yeah. I, I mean, it was hard, and I never felt like I really got to say goodbye to him, but I... Well, Harry. <laughs> No, I, I haven't seen him since I went to the mainland. Y you want us to what? I was gonna get your flowers, man. But get this, the flower shop was right next to a bottle oak. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> and the flowers, right? 45 bucks. This shit right here, 25. You want one? Why not? Yeah, boy! Thanks, Harry. Uh, now, Jack's parents have given us specific instructions to- Oh, shit, is that Jack? Hey, hey, be, be careful with that, all right? Oh man! Oh, my. You know, out of all of our friends, Jack was the one I least expected to become a pothead. It's an urn, Harry. Not a pot. Yeah. You get my joke, don't you? So, how was the funeral? Uh, yeah, it was, it was rough, you know. I mean, Jack's parents were like anyone that just lost a kid. Yeah, man. Like, I was going to come, but I had a gig. A gig? What, at, at 10 in the morning? Yeah, man, I'm a DJ now. Well, more like I'm an opening act for a DJ. I'm actually just the sound guy, but I'm happy. It pays all right. It's fun. How's uni? Uh, yeah, it's, it's all right, I guess. You know, degree's almost done, so next year I'll just be going out and... Oh, damn. Pulp. Oh, I'm sorry, what were you saying? Doesn't matter. Hey, do you remember when we were going to become a cricket team? Remember? Mate, we were going to take Tassie by storm. Do you remember our name? Yeah, the Tassie Storms. The Tassie Storms! Me, you, Jack, those two Indian blokes. Hey, you know they play for the Hurricanes now? Huh, alright. Yeah. So, what did you want me for? Well, Jack's parents kind of gave us Jack. I, I mean the urn. You know, they both wanted us to have him. Both of us? Is this going to turn into a custody battle, Philly? What? No, no, it's just that, you know, I thought we should work something out. I'm leaving really early tomorrow and we could, we could chair him or something because I don't know the rules and regulations about bringing the ashes on the plane. The ashes? Oh, I've got an idea. You want us to scatter his ashes at the arena? Why not? He's a Tassie Storm. He deserves to be buried at the state's most sacred cricket ground. No, no, you just, you can't just waltz in and ask uh, him uh, to. Ah, 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 that's the thing. We're not gonna ask. Wait, wait, what? We're doing a break in. But, but Harry. I don't have time to answer your questions, Philly. <sighs> but. Meet me up at the school, eight o'clock sharp. By the swings where we used to play cricket. But you don't understand, you can't just waltz. Oh. And wear black! You're late. What? Lucky for me though. Had to go back and get my night vision goggles. Your night vision what? 
Yeah. I yeah, got my night vision goggles, something to get over the gate with, uh, the other thing, and my wallet. What about your black clothes? Damn it. Whatever, let's just go. You got the ashes, right? Oh, shit. Hang on. Lucky for us, I brought a stepladder. I may not have thought this through. You think? All right, jump on my shoulders and I'll throw you over. What? No, look, if you're serious about getting over this, we need to get some sort of ladder because, look, the way I'm looking at it right now, it's a big fence. And all right, we need, to, we need to get a ladder or something to, you know, prop ourselves. Hey man, will this do? Whatever, I'll just get this over with. I still think it would have been funny to throw you over the fence. <sighs> Shut up. You want to do it? I think we both should. Okay. Oh, hang on. I nearly forgot. What the hell is that? What's oh, Jack? No, no, I mean, why do you have that? Well, I thought that, you know, we could put this on here, sit it down and say goodbye. I'm not talking to an urn, Harry. All right, suit yourself. Jack, you're a good man and a good friend and a great bowler. And even though we had our differences and you still owe me that 20 bucks for the movie ticket and I'll never see you again. Yeah, goodbye, man. Do you want to say something? No, no, I, I'm good. You know, I already said my speech at the funeral. Okay. Bet you it wasn't as good as mine. Well, this is it. Wait, I forgot something. Wait there. Jack, I don't know what to say. At least you got to go off in style in the field where your parents miss you. I miss you. Harry, Harry misses you, man. Just, I just wish I could have done something. I wish you didn't. Harry, what the hell are you doing? What? I needed to charge my phone! Fuck! I think we set off the alarms. We? Oh, hey man, I've got an iPhone 4, i got to keep this bad boy charged. I don't care about your phone, Harry. Alright, I don't even know why I thought this was a good idea. Hey man, I think that's just the sirens talking. Let's call it quits, we'll go back home, have a couple of bevs. Besides, it's what Jack would have wanted. No, what Jack would have wanted is to still be alive. Look man, all I wanted to do was hang out. Do what, Harry? Fuck up another person's life? <laughs> well, mission accomplished. What's that supposed to mean? It means that maybe if you'd been there for Jack, he wouldn't have killed himself. Take that back. Why? You know, the last thing I remember telling you before I left was to keep an eye on him. Well, you fucked that up. Left for what? To go to some arsehole university on the other side of the country? Maybe if you'd stayed here, none of this shit would have happened. You know what? I didn't. Because I'm not some washed out dropkick like you in his 20s getting drunk every night. And I'm especially not some arsehole who doesn't give a flying fuck on who he hurts. 
All this shit is on you, man. All right? All of it. How you feel? We escaped the cops then. Yeah. Just the one cop that ended up rolling through actually. I just hid in the bushes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, I, I didn't mean what I said back there. It's all right, mate. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. I just miss you, man. I miss Jack. I just thought that if we could pull this off, it'd be like a final hurrah for us as a group. Like a farewell for Jack. And us, you know. Yeah, man, I just, you know, I could have, I could have prevented all this. Now Jack's stranded out there and like usual, I've just run away. Well, as usual, I have saved the day. <laughs> Got him back. Yeah, I wasn't just gonna leave him out there. You know, Jack might not be able to rest on Tassie's most sacred cricket ground, but I think I know a better place. <laughs> flights in a couple of hours and I just I've gotta go. You